Hello there, Mac. Do you want any of my cheese and snacks? So, I kidnapped a child off the playground, and this is a PS4 launch title. Launch title, launch title, launch title. Oh shit! The PS4 is almost 10 years old. The PS4 came out on November 15th, 2013, almost 10 years ago. I have a collection of PS4 games, and that is the system I have the most games for. There are tons of games on the PS4 that I haven't played yet, and a fuck ton of physical games I would really would like to have on my PS4 collection. The launch titles for the PS4 were Killzone Shadowfall, was, was that game any good? Call of Duty Ghost. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and Knack. Remember back in the 90s when every game designer Dolper needed their own mascot platformer? Gex, Radical Rex, Awesome Possum, Bubsy. It's basically a character where you put Garfield in a white shirt and put a red exclamation point and BAM! Bubsy. Then, 20 years later, when military and sci-fi shooters were still the most popular genre, Sony thought that the PS4 needed its own Mario because Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon, who were PlayStation's mascot, became multi-platform. So, Sony made Knack a PS4 launch title with our two PS4 launch exclusives being Killzone Shadowfall and Knack. I never played this as a kid when the PS4 came out, but I did read and heard about it on Genius World Records 2014 Gamers Edition. Knack is a platformer, but mostly a beat em up type of game. And let's play the game with the Dual Shock 4. <sighs> this controller screams mid to late 2010s. That is basically a bunch of polygons or relics for that game's case, a character who is designed to show off the technical capabilities. When Knack dies, he falls into pieces, like Legos falling on the ground to show off the PS4's physics capabilities. I will give the game this. Knack is a gorgeous looking game, and it does a fantastic job showing the graphics of the PS4. Even to this day, Knack is still a beautiful game to look at when running this on the PS5. What's weird about this game though is that the game has an option to play in a high frame rate or the option to play in a high resolution. You know what, I'll, I'll, I'll just play at a high resolution. So, Knack is a lab experiment created with ancient relics and we got a basic tutorial showing you how to play the game. What? I, I die at the tutorial, what the hell? I'm horrible at video games. I'm quitting YouTube. I'm no longer in this gaming community on YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Bye. The story and characters in this game are nothing special at all. There's a kid who looks like Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. This is Hiccup. They stole this. 
Then here's this fat middle-aged guy who is a scientist and the creator of Nag. Then there is this blonde guy whose beard is spaghetti poking out. Yeah, I can't memorize any of the characters' names except Nack, who is the title character. Nack is basically like Groot, but made out of ancient relics, but he can also summon other materials like wood, ice, or metal. He can be little and can be really big and cause millions of dollars of property damage. The story isn't great and it feels like a game based on an animated rated Y7 kids show on Netflix. The intro shows that the goblins are dicks and that's the plot. Then there is another villain who is a twist villain and is a really obvious villain. A character who uses the same character model as Hiccup here, and one of his robots attacked Knack in the mines, and it ended up being obvious that he is the villain, and he is evil, and wants to take over the world. There are just way better twist villains out there that are better written. It's just a simple beat-em-up game. Why not have the goblins be dicks, and that's it? Why have two separate villains? The story isn't the absolute worst, and there are worse stories in video games out there. Knack just doesn't have a great story at all. Story really matter in video games? As video games become more like movies and TV shows, like, the story matter? Like, can a game have a really shit story and have really good gameplay and the game can still be good. Knack as a game is a beat em up slash platformer game with combat that isn't that great at all. You just hit square and this game has no heavy or light attack. The only other method of attack is the homing attack, like in 3D Sonic games. It's the weaker attack in the game, and only takes a little damage. But it keeps enemies off guard, which is why I often use it, and I finish them off after using it. Sometimes when you finish off a goblin or a robot, there's this slow motion of neck bitch arm slapping because Knack is made out of hard metal. Knack's arm slap is just amazing. It's just... <clears throat> <clears throat> I, ju I just love Knack's arm slap, especially when seeing in slow motion. It's just... <clears throat> <clears throat> I died a decent amount of times, but... Does that mean that this game is hard? No, it is really easy, but it's one of those games that I still wonder what is the point in having a life bar when you die in one or two hits. The only sections in the game that kind of make sense with having a life bar is when Knack is all giant. After playing this game myself, I totally get why Knack had gotten mixed reviews from critics. Knack is one of the most blandest and most generic launch titles ever made. There is no variety of special moves or moves to unlock or anything. You do get special moves by getting those yellow crystals by pressing circle square or circle triangle and that is pretty much it with special moves, which kills everybody on the screen. That is why you can't use the tornado or projectiles as much as you please. When you die, you don't lose your crystal pie chart, so you can save them for harder sections. You can shrink down in size, but you can only do that when the game allows you to. The levels feels like you are going down in a straight line, and there's barely any unlockables or anything. There are hidden areas, but it really isn't anything satisfying to get to. Every time I get one of those collectibles, I get a notification on the PS5 telling me that 
I can't record this part of the game, and my capture card is a lot newer, so it recorded it just fine. I totally get that Sony is trying to make sure that nobody can look up where a collectible is online, but... There wasn't a game recording block when entering. So why are you blocking the inside instead of the location of where the entrance to the hidden room is? So here's a behind the scenes issue that I had to deal with. Usually I would make this into a separate video or something like that, but I thought that I need to talk about this. Gameplay footage takes hard drive space. That is a fact. A lot of it. So I set my recording software to this hard drive from Toshiba, which has 60 hours left of recording time and has gameplay footage recorded prior here. The reason why pieces of footage is 4 minutes to 10 minutes instead of hours was because when I record for a long period of time, the video file gets corrupted. Then, watching the recorded footage, there is lag. That means I lost a good chunk of footage. Do you know what this means? I have to go and play the levels that I already beaten. <sighs> I got so bored and sick of this game. If my gameplay recordings actually got corrupted while working on a video on Dark Souls, then fuck. That would really piss me off. Knack isn't a good launch title for the PS4 or a good game at all. Knack isn't a frustrating game, but Knack is just a bland, piss puddle game. If Knack had more unlockables that are interesting or had a different variety of special moves to pull off, then I would have more fun with this game. For a game by Sony Interactive Entertainment, this game feels like a licensed movie tie-in game based on a Pixar or DreamWorks movie from the 2000s and early 2010s. It's just a generic beat em up kill bad guys, go in a straight line gameplay. If the game has more exploration and routes to take, the level design would be a lot more interesting. The only thing I could praise about Knack is the graphics. It does a great job showing off the PS4's technical capabilities, and if I played this back in Holiday of 2013, I would have been impressed with the graphics. Sony had designed this game to be a tech demo and be a simple game, but this was released full price. I had bought this game for $20, so I shouldn't be complaining, but back in 2013, it was $60. But this game is just way too basic and bland. It doesn't matter how much I paid for it, it's just boring. Astro's Playroom was a tech demo, and it was for free, and that game has a lot more replayability than Knack. Yes? Astro's Playroom is a much more shorter game, and this game right here is over 7 to 8 hours, but that game is much more fun than Knack. After beating the main story, you unlock Arena Mode and Time Trial Mode. I only played the Arena Mode and didn't bother with the Time Trial Mode. This game just has nothing going for it. I totally get why this game got very mixed reviews when this came out. Because this game was just way too bland and too basic to be released at a full retail price. Was this the last time we saw Knack? Because no! They made a sequel! Bye bye! You are dead!